today at 2 p.m. on WBRC Fox 6. Today's Ask the Doctor segment is all about excessively sweaty palms. Dr. Douglas Minnick from Princeton Baptist Medical Center uh, joining us now to take your calls. Here's that number, 741-9272. That's 741-9272 to ask about uh, this. And uh, first of all, it's called hyperhidrosis. Correct. Explain very briefly, what is hyperhidrosis? What's happening? Sure, uh, hyperhidrosis, it comes from hyper, meaning excessive, and hydrosis meaning sweating and everyone sweats it's a it's a physiologic uh, necessity uh, in order to keep our bodies cool when needed uh, and all of us sweat under certain circumstances but a small percentage of the population about one to two percent will sweat excessively for no apparent reason at that time uh, and this can affect anywhere in the body uh, some of the areas that are more prominently affected regarding symptoms are the palms of the hands, the axilla or under the arms, and sometimes the feet. Uh, so uh, primary hyperhidrosis most commonly refers to excessive sweating uh, of the hands uh, or underarms. So what, um, I mean, we know when you're nervous, you know, you're, you tend to sweat. Is, is that the trigger or what are the triggers? There, there's no specific trigger in each individual patient. And, and that's what makes it so frustrating for these patients. Uh, they can be sitting there. One example is the, uh, the high school student doing their homework, you know, sitting there at home trying to do their homework uh, and, and their palms are sweating so much that it can smear the ink or pencil oh, wow. on the paper. Uh, it can cause perspiration to accumulate on their keyboard or tablet. Uh, and it, it's things for folks that have not experienced it or that do not know someone who's had it. You don't even think about all of the ways mm -hmm. that, that it could impact things. And, and could certainly be an embarrassing Absolutely, uh, absolutely. So what are the treatments? Uh, there, there's several treatments available. Usually the initial treatments will start with topical antiperspirants. Uh, and these are not the same type of antiperspirants that you buy, you know, f you know for daily use. It's not use. your standard right guard. It's not. Okay. It's not. Uh, these are more prescription strength. Uh, uh, medications that can be applied topically to these areas. Okay. Uh, th there are other uh, uh, types of creams and other therapies that can be tried and in certain circumstances there's an operation that can be done uh, to help decrease okay. the sweating of the hands and underarms. We have our first caller. Sure. Uh, Kathy, uh, tell us what is your question? Hi, my question for the doctor is um, I'm going to try to make this brief. Um, my son passed away in 2014, and he had autism and CP, but he passed away from aplastic anemia. But six months prior to that, he had always been on Synthroid, mm -hmm. and his, his levels were great in March, but between March and July, the components of his blood levels fell. But the thyroid stayed the same, but several times a day, his clothes were just drenched from, you know, his um, T-shirt all the way down, and we never got an answer as to what was causing that. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, first of all, I'm sorry to hear about your son. Uh, that uh, wh what you've described there is, is what's referred to as secondary hyperhidrosis uh, in that uh, there are many other uh, illnesses that can, can affect the level of sweating throughout the body. Uh, any level of thyroid disease uh, can contribute to that. Uh, there are also other uh, disorders that affect the, uh, the adrenal glands and, and the normal steroid levels within your body that can also have an impact on that. Uh, in that particular case, it was likely uh, a consequence of his, uh, his, his underlying thyroid disease. All right. Doctor, thank you very much. Sure. I guess bottom line, uh, excessive sweating can be a sign of a disease, and if you've got to get it checked out and, right. uh, and get treatment for it, there's help for it as well. Right. Dr. Uh, uh, Minnick, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.